this is this is the first kind of really big movie. I know you've done Ten Thousand BC and you've a lot of work and all that, but this will be the first kind of big hoo ha Hollywood movie for I guess for all of you, yeah. Yeah. Rock and roll Hollywood. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we call it. It's a technical yeah, term. It's a technical term. <laughs> right. Right. Okay, Roland. I know the beautiful Peter Jackson said that when it came to this movie, because of the subject matter, we're dealing with a very dark subject matter. A fourteen-year-old girl is, is raped and murdered. He wanted to make sure that there was humor within that, and, and that that he could, you know within the movie itself. And I don't know whether he kind of approached you in, in that respect and said, "This is the kind of tone I'm looking for," or whether it was pretty obvious from the script. Well, we knew that, I mean, the story has enough darkness. The whole, the, the matter is really weighty enough. So the the real agenda for us and for everybody making the film was to find the light and was to find, you know, often around really tragic circumstances, you you do laugh more than anywhere else. Like I've, you know, when I've lost family, friends and things, it's always been the time where you cry the most, but you also laugh the most. And it's really about finding that dynamic. And I think Peter was very eager in the film to make sure that we had that kind of, that hope and that humour and it's, you know, it is ultimately an inspiring story. It's part of his process as well. With He, he introduces um, fun into his process mm. to allow you to find new things and it never becomes, I think, there's a danger of, you know, becoming quite stagnant when you allow everybody on set to kind of, you know, get dragged mm. down by the subject matter, if you know what I mean. Mm. So he has this mischief to his work which keeps kept us all on our toes and alive as well, yeah. even when you're playing dark scenes. Mm. But, well, given too that, that this is a you know a much loved bestseller, and, and you're dealing with a director who's fairly well known, and, and uh, you've got an expectation here that's quite large. I don't know whether that was something that you guys were aware of. You you know you, here's your first big movie, and obviously you've got your own role to consider. But then the bigger picture is here's a movie that I mean, certainly the award season expects great things of this, and, and and the sense that this is going to be a serious piece of work. Did you feel that, or, or were you just too busy? That I've got my role to think about. I, I'm not thinking about mm. how this movie does. I don't think I really thought about it at all at that time. I mean, it was really big for me that I was working with Peter Jackson and things, but I think I was just so amazed by the whole thing that, um, and just enjoying it so much that I didn't really think about what was going to happen, you know, in two years' time or whatever. And so, so busy. Yeah, really, you know, When really you're busy. making it, you, kind of the last thing you're really thinking about is what it's going to become. It's sort of just all about, you know, you've got certain things to achieve that day and everybody mm. around you is really preoccupied with making this thing. You don't have time to stop and think, really. We had the book as well, don't forget. Like, this isn't, you know, it wasn't an original... You know, it came from a very dense subject matter. So we all mm. kind of were, I think, fair to say, we were engrossed in the book before we started filming the, mm. the actual film. Mm. So, you know, we kind of came on board just trying to honour the very, you know, kind of serious subject yeah. mm. of the book. Well, just considering the, 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 the individual characters, I'm just thinking for you, Reese, for example, now you're given that sort of almost that Edward Cullen treatment where you are the ide idealised boyfriend that never was. Yeah, thanks, yeah. That sense <laughs> of, you know, that this is the guy that she... Saoirse's character, uh, Susie, would, would you know, feel is her first love but never quite gets there. I mean, was that sort of something you had fun with or did you feel, I've got to look immaculate at all times? No, 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 no. I'm not interested in vanity. <laughs> at all. No, um, no, it wasn't about that. Again, I'm going to say what I just said again. It's about honouring the book. And Alice Siebold, you know, had this fantastic piece of work that we just, we had for reference. So it wasn't about, you know, playing it a certain way. I, we had all the tools we needed, I think. Yeah. And for you, Rose, your character quite goes on quite a journey. You've got, you know, you've got a sense that you're I mean, slightly sarcastic sister, the, the usual dynamics in a family, and then you've got to deal with Susan Sarandon's wonderfully almost Corona de Villish kind of <laughs> grandmother, and, and you've got to deal with your own first love story, and, and yet yeah. go through a, a, this uh, this kind of Boo Radley experience with, with uh, Stanley Tucci's character. I mean, wh that was quite a journey. I don't know whether that was something that, that you got completely lost in, whether it was, uh, again, maybe I don't know if it was fun, or whether it was dark, or... Well, I had a lot of fun making it, and it was, I mean, it's really interesting to be able to play from 11 to 18. It's, it is a vast scape. So much happens in those years. And, I mean, to be honest, they're all experiences that I've had. It's just a matter of kind of tapping in and finding where you are at at all those different stages. So that's physically and emotionally, and, and also having an amazing team around me of, you know, costume and makeup that can, that can help you facilitate that. But um, I did, I found, like, in, initially, when Susie first dies at the start of the story, um, Lindsay really works to to kind of identify herself as her own person. She doesn't want to be seen as Susie's sister, sister or yeah, yeah, or the sister of the murdered girl. So that's kind of that's really where she starts. And then I think throughout the story, as it progresses, she realizes more and more that in order to be her own person, Susie's murder has to at least be put to some sort of rest within her family. So it's like it's a real learning curve. For, for her throughout the story as well, which was great because it gave me a really distinct motivation for making it. And for you, Carolyn, you look you look so different now. So I don't know whether the character is anything like you or whether you, you kind of could tap into anything 
with that sort of... A I was I was actually really surprised when I got the role because I thought that um, Ruth was completely different to how I am. Um, but it was really fun, like, learning to be that character because I got to do so many things that I would never do otherwise. I actually went to a, um, a life drawing class one time and I really enjoyed it and I actually found I had, like, a bit of, maybe a bit of talent or something <laughs> in drawing. I was so, actually quite good. <laughs> I was, I was pretty good. <laughs> 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 but, 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 yeah, but I would, never, I would never have even thought of doing something like that if I hadn't gotten the role. So it was really fun being somebody completely different for once. Well, we're at the sort of just the beginning of the wave of this movie coming out, and, and I don't know what, how it feels for you if you've got your surfboard ready for all this sort of madness that can come with a, a fairly big release. And I know you've had some experience. You were in 10,000 BC, and of mm. course you did the bill. You're English, you have to do the, the bill. bill. <laughs> I think Everybody's done the bill. <laughs> you've done some, a lot of work as well in New Zealand. You've had, had a, even Power Rangers, I think, this year. Well yeah. done. Very, very good. But for all of you, it's kind of like the first big... Step out. I don't know whether that's uh, all exciting or whether there's a sort of slightly terrified by, you know, how do I get, you know, how do I, how will this affect my career? How will I make well, the most of this? Nothing really seems terrifying or exciting or wild yet. I mean, we're having yeah. fun. We're having so yeah. much fun, but it's sort of just take it as it comes because you kind of never know what's going to happen until you go through it, and you don't want to, you know, make certain expectations or have these ideas that are going to turn out completely different. So we're just sort of seeing what happens while I am. See, mm. that was that. What you just heard there was a textbook Kiwi answer as well. They're, they're, <laughs> they're fantastic, though, because the culture in New Zealand, that's what Go I love about Peter, is, it's in the film as well. There's nothing um, showy or glam about it, you know what I mean? Everybody's just taking it as it... That's true, though, is that everyone's Not taking mad. it... <laughs> <laughs> everyone's taking it as, as it comes. Oh. So, <laughs> yeah. Down to earth as well. I was paying you a compliment. Oh, <laughs> Cool. Well, I think I've been giving the wrap up, but uh, very nice to talk to all of you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Have fun on this. Yeah, it's going to be a bit of an adventure now. Yeah, thank you. Nice to meet you.